Greg Castello, Board Certified Family Practice with CostelloWellness.com. And I want to talk to you about central obesity and insulin resistance. And this video was prompted by the Go Low commercial, which absolutely has it wrong with their diagram. And if you can't get the diagram right, you probably don't have the concept right. So let's talk about central obesity. So in this first picture, sorry. Um, this is a normal person, and the red is the muscle tissue. Um, the green is the fat. This is the subcutaneous fat, or the fat that you could get liposuctioned. The fat on the left, or the in the abdomen fat, or visceral fat, or peritoneal fat, um, or omentum fat. That's the fat you have around your intestines on the inside of the muscle. So think of the 55-year-old truck driver with a big beer belly. He's got skinny arms, skinny legs. You can sometimes even see veins on his belly because he has no subcutaneous fat. All of his fat is inside of his abdomen. He looks pregnant. That is visceral or organ fat, and that cannot be uh, liposuctioned away because it's inside the body. So this is the fat that causes insulin resistance and diabetes and heart disease. That fat actually is a gland like your thyroid gland. It produces hormones like your thyroid produces hormones, except the hormones it produces are inflammatory and cause insulin resistance. So let's go to the typical person with this central obesity, you can see they still have a little bit of um, subcutaneous fat, but most of their fat is on this omentum or this fat made shower curtain and fat wrapped around the organ. So you cannot do sit-ups to remove that. You cannot do liposuction to remove that. You have to diet and exercise to get that fat to go away. This is an uncommon person who indeed has fat subcutaneously, and that fat or love handles, that can be liposuctioned away. That's like a coat on the outside of your body. It doesn't have any metabolic implications. Lastly, let's look at what a typical woman might carry her fat in her bottom area and in her thighs. Um, this is the difference between what we call uh, apple-shaped and pear-shaped. So a woman who is pear-shaped is not at an increased risk of heart disease or diabetes because she carries her fat on the outside of her body, again, like a coat on the outside. So the Golo uh, commercial, I'll, it's the picture is there, shows the fat on the wrong part of the body. It's just a pet peeve that you can't be smart enough to have a diagram be correct. Maybe your product isn't so good. So uh, central obesity, visceral fat, peritoneal fat, intra-abdominal fat, uh, at a risk of diabetes, heart disease, uh, insulin resistance. You cannot do sit-ups to make that go away because it's on the inside of the body. Dr. Costello, thanks.